Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be featuring a vegan poke bowl. And of course we know that really what makes a poke bowl is the sauce. So we're going to start off with a tamari sauce. That's fairly easy to make. So follow along and let us know what you think when you give it a try. We'll start off with the seasoned rice vinegar. Rice vinegar has a lot of effects on the body, including lowering your cholesterol, digestion, and just helping to lower cholesterol. Next we have agave, and agave has also health benefits. It really does add some minerals to your diet. So we'll go ahead and just pour this in. So look at the beautiful amber color. And now we have tahini sauce, which is loaded with protein and healthy fats and sesame seeds. That's exactly what we get. Absolutely delicious and a key ingredient for this recipe. Look how creamy. This will blend in nicely with all our other ingredients. And on to our sriracha. And here we have sriracha sauce for that kick that we love, that we can add to our poke bowl. And so you can just decide how much you want. Um, we like our spicy, so we add a little bit extra. All right, and now we have tamari. So tamari sauce, um, nicely fermented soybeans, and this also adds some benefit. It actually has protein in it, so we have some hidden protein in this gem. Now go ahead and just pour this in. And here we just have some water, so this just helps us with the consistency. So you can determine how much water you want to add. And we have some minced garlic. So again, you may have already known just we love garlic in our recipes. So this also adds a little bit of kick uh, to the recipe. So loaded with antioxidants, helps to clean your system, lots of great health benefits. And down to our last ingredient, ginger. One of the tips that I want to offer you when you are grating ginger is that you can put it in the freezer. So it's a tip I learned from my mom. So it just helps to grate it a lot easier. So ginger, also a super food loaded with great nutrients and antioxidants. At this time, we are just going to put it in one of your favorite small blenders and just blend it up as easy as that. You can see the beautiful color. And so that's the consistency that we're aiming for. Just nice and creamy. So we'll start off with our starch. So here we have some freshly steamed jasmine rice. So we can just add this to the center of our bowl. You can see it's a little sticky. Here we have some grape tomatoes. Radishes. Don't you love the color of these? Just the beautiful pink. So on to our grated carrots, loaded with beta carotene. And just add that delicious flavor to your dish. And just look at the brightness that it brings. Here we have some purple cabbage. And we just grated this, make it a little bit easier, but also amazing crunch to your poke bowl. You can slice this, you can chop this. I just find that this way is just a little bit easier to eat. And we have some crunchy tofu that we just made in advance. So this will be your protein that you're gonna be adding. So just whatever amount you think that might be a delicious addition. And just stack that in the way that you find fit. Now on to our tahini sauce. And then for our final item, just as a garnish, we have some scallion. So here we have our finished product, our beautiful poke bowl, loaded with nutrients, protein, crunch, and lots of bursts of flavor. Please try this out and don't forget to like and subscribe.